afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago Cubs and the Milwaukee Brewers. Major League Baseball on the show is next. Brandon Woodruff, the Mississippi native, will be on the mound in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Here's Chris Bryant now. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. First pitch of the at bat. First pitch, one o'clock. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Yelich is under it, makes the play one away. Static second, the first baseman, number 44, Anthony Rizzo. Striding into the box, Anthony Rizzo. Lifetime against this particular arm. He's just one for six. Field shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Looking at his career totals, Rizzo has over 200 career home runs, so he's certainly capable of leaving the yard in this big spot here. Oh, yeah, Matty, absolutely right man, right time. He's been there, done that, hit a bunch of home runs in his career, and he sets up nice for him. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. Oh. Our temperature a very comfortable 72 degrees as we get things started. The 3 0 pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Kane is under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. That is third. The shortstop. Javier Baez. And that brings up Javi Baez. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Pitch on the way. Hey, hey pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. So let's take a look at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Joe McDonald. Hey, Joe McDonald, he's a tough guy to figure out sometimes, d -Row. One inning, he'll be giving that inside corner the next inning. He doesn't give much of that inside corner. His zone fluctuates a lot. You know, Dan, you can see some definite confusion on the face of some hitters today. Questioning in the strike zone. One pitch is a strike on the outer half. The next time, it's a ball. Kind of a little cat and mouse with the umpire when you should be focused on the pitcher. Here comes the one and two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. The 2-2. Two -two. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 two -two pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two-out walk. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Here's a slider that's inside, 1-0. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Mm -hmm. 
the 1 1. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Two and one, here it is. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Two balls, two strikes. Thank you. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Ready with the payoff pitch. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. The payoff pitch. And that's down into left center for a base hit. And the run will score as the Cubs strike first to lead it 1-0. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. Hit down the third baseline. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. in at second safely as also on the play a run comes across to score well that's the difference between a harmless error and a costly one with the base is empty that doesn't hurt that much but with a man on that allows a run to score here's Jason Hayward now as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one Hayward or often just Jay Hay. It was selected in the first round back in the draft of 2007. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really. Ouch, that one hit him. Some people in the crowd don't like that, but believe me, he did not want to hit a guy in the first inning. We'll see if he can regain his control or if his control becomes an issue. So digging in now, Ian Happ. And a great chance here for the Cubbies to add on in just the first inning. Looking to minimize the damage here. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. I think this inning could have far-reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work, and unless he dials it in, it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. Contreras on second. Hayward at first, two out in the inning. Pulled toward right center field. After it is Kane. He's not going to get it. And a two-out rally continues. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. It's a 3-0 game. And as the second baseman, Jason Kipnis. He's got a chance to add on to what's already been a big inning for them. Yeah, two on here and three on the board already. They've absolutely come out and forced the issue of this inning, Matt. A hit here could really fire up that dugout. First pitch of the at bat. Oh, that's off the plate. To me, it looks like he just doesn't trust himself out there on the mound. It's like he's fighting his body on every pitch, and as a result, we're seeing a lot of balls from him early on in this game. Three runs already home here. Uh, had him lunging at that pitch away, and it's one and one now. Well, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. <laughs> yeah, good luck. But hey, a high fastball all of a sudden becomes really dangerous for a pitcher if it's not spotted above the zone. A little height difference makes all the difference. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. 
is put in play to the right side of the infield. Scooped up. And a close play at second, but the throw does beat him, and the side is retired. So they pick up three runs on three hits, one error, and a couple of men left. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Cubs three. The Brewers coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Yu Darvish, the right-hander from Japan, will get the starting assignment in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Yu Darvish is what you look at when you're looking for an ace. Big, strong guy came over from Japan, 95 to 97 miles an hour, all the way back from Tommy John surgery, has the curveball, the changeup, and the slider, will throw any pitch at any count, one of the top pitchers in the game, and you'll know early. If he's seeing a lot of swings and misses and strikeouts, it's going to be a long day for those guys swinging the bats. From the stretch, ball, ball one. Ball one, no strike. The 1 0 home is taken, strike one. The 1 1 is looked at for ball number two. Two one pitch is a slider taken for a cold strike two. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Half is there and he has it for the first out. Batting second, the center fielder, Lorenzo King. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up Lorenzo Kane. First pitch on its way. Now a cutter, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. On he pops it up. Hayward coming on. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. The 1 1 home. Oh, that's out. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Batting third, the right fielder, Christian Yellen. Stepping up to the plate, Christian Yelich. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's two and zero. Oh. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to three and zero. Oh. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. The 2 1. Hit hard to the right, but foul. Darvish pauses. Here he comes on 2 and 2. Three balls, two strikes. Swing and a ball sliced, fouled into the seats down the left field line. Two out, nobody on. And the cutter got him swinging. Strike three, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. 
Still down 3 nothing. Victor Caratini will get the call Victor here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number seven, Victor Caratini. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike two. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0 and 2, right? You have to protect for the fastball. You have to look for the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0 and 2. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He flied out leading off the ball game. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Bases are empty, one man out. A swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Wow, talk about mowing him down. How about two strikeouts on the six pitches? Base, he isn't 24. messing around, and these Anthony last two batters have had no Lisa. answer for what he's throwing up there. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate as he'll take a look at ball one. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. One and one, the count of the Cubs' first baseman. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Javier Baez would be next. The three and one pitch. Rizzo out in front here as this is pulled foul into the seats in right. Hits this one hard the other way, but that finds its way through for a base hit. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. That was not a good pitch, but he handled it nicely, guys. Yeah, and the pitcher's got to wonder what he has to do to get it past this guy. That pitch was off the plate, but he shows great reach, gets good extension, and drives it for a two-bagger. Here's Javier Baez as he rips it on the ground to second. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And the run will come across to score from second, and they open it up to 4-0 now. What a frustrating inning from a pitcher standpoint, D-Roy. You get the first two out of the inning, the next guy doubles, and then you give up a two-out base hit to drive in a run. Yeah, you want to talk about on the complete flip side, firing up an offense. You see your two boys go down, two quick outs. You mix in a gapper right there. Double finds himself on second base. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air, and a ball that he got every stitch of, as that one, without a doubt, is gone. So it's a two run homer for Kyle Schwarber as they pile on it's now six to nothing. That's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what. There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it.
Here comes the Milwaukee skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll exit here this afternoon to a smattering of boos after what can be described as really a subpar performance. Aaron Wilkerson, a right handed reliever standing 6 3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Number 56, Aaron Wilkerson. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. A base hit in his first trip. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Skied into straightaway right. After it is Yelich. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. But they strike for three in the inning, two on this two run home run. Last chance coming up for the Brewers. It's the Cubs six and the Brewers nothing. Alec Mills, a six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Leading off the inning, Keston Hiera, and they'll need him to get something going here. The second baseman. First pitch on its way. Way behind that pitch, it's 0 and 1. Now the pitch. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. One and two now. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed. Then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. And this is taken in for out number one. Batting fifth. The left fielder. Ryan. Braun. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring in the left fielder, Ryan Braun. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Low and away as he misses again 2 and 0. Oh. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. Now the 2 0. -oh. One out, nobody on. A 3 and 1 count to the Brewers' left fielder. Well it's a pretty well known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher Kipnis has it throw gets Braun at first as he grounds out for out number two batting fifth, the first baseman got there. so striding in Justin smoke. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. In there, and it's even at one. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Bases are empty here with two men out. A 
A ball and two strikes. The One count ball. now with the bases two empty and two away. The Brewers down to their final strike. Fouled off. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. And he'll take strike three called. And that's going to end it as this will go into the books as a combined no hitter. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. 6 nothing, the final shutout score today. Chicago scored in every single inning on the way to victory. You Darvish gets the W on the mound. Brandon Woodruff struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasgers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Six runs, six hits, no errors. They left two men on base. For the Brewers, no 